Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Voice Post Results Breakdown. I'm Erin Biglow, and we're here with Dave Fenley and DeAndre Nico. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you. And congratulations on making it to the top 10. That is a huge achievement. So yes, applause on that, first of all. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you. Well, there's no getting around it. Last night was pretty intense. So first of all, how did you react to not only being in the bottom, but knowing that you were in the bottom with someone who couldn't perform? There must have been such conflicting emotions from the start and a little bit of confusion, right? For me, I, I, it was, for one, it was an opportunity to sing another great song. Yeah. So I mean, that's always a positive. And, uh, you know, we were all just really concerned about little Reagan and, you know, we didn't know what was going on, you know, why she was feeling bad, but, you know, we were just hoping that she was okay. Yeah, yeah. how about you? We just didn't know what was going on, so. You know, and taking we it as it comes. Yeah, we was taking it as, taking it step by step, and we tried to just do what we could. We yeah. did our best, and yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a game. Yeah, at you the know? end of the day. At the end fun. of the day, yeah, for have sure. Fun. Yeah. Don't even take it as a competition. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. Have fun. Do your thing. Always give your best. At that point, we were all family anyway. Yeah, so, we man, love it, each other, man. So. Yeah. yeah, that's the word that everyone keeps using is family. Right. Uh, from the show, from the artists, the coaches, and everyone else, that yeah. you guys are just should, one big family. You should have spent time with us. At, I would have loved to. <laughs> you would have been like, these guys are clowns. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. Definitely. Well, obviously, uh, Adam's remarks to you, DeAndre, after your performance uh, lit up social media last night. People really came to your defense because... What he said was polarizing, to say the least. Um, you know, you gave a great performance of that John Legend song, but uh, Adam also felt the need to show some love for Reagan as well because she couldn't perform. We all saw what went down on air, but you have a chance to tell us what was going through your mind at that time when you were standing on stage. You're not on Twitter sharing your knee-jerk reaction. You're, you're mm -hmm. up there, and it's happening to you. So why don't you tell us what was going through your mind? Um, what was going on through my mind? Um, at that point, I, I just didn't know. I was like, okay, um, as long as you give your, give your best. And if you sing, you know someone's in the back and they're not mm -hmm. feeling well, just sing, do your best. Uh, Dave did a phenomenal job last night. Man, uh, I was going to lose either way. As good as I said. <laughs> you never know. You can't say that. You never know. No, you never it's know. It's a game, man. like you he said. He did tremendous, man. Yeah. We all did good. Yeah. Um, it was bad, you know, that... Reagan couldn't perform or do what she could do um, because of her illness, but all is well, you know. Yeah. We still, we, we have great careers. Absolutely. Ahead, so. Sky's the limit. And it yeah. was such a difficult situation for everyone, for you guys and for Reagan. So right. what did Adam say to you after the show? Because we saw him go right up to you after uh, on stage, after the announcement was made. So what did he get a chance to you to talk to you about um, after uh, the cameras went off? I really don't even know. <laughs> Everything's a blur at that yeah, point, right? Yeah, my mind was just, like, gone. So, yeah, yeah. I, I really don't know. It was, But I, I think he said something nice or, you know, hey, man, love you. Oh, um, good. Something like that. Yeah, it wasn't no hard feelings. I have no hard feelings towards anyone. I love everybody. At That's the end great. of the day, my heart is big. Yeah. And it's full of joy and peace. Yeah, and so. he had a really nice Instagram post, too, just a super good attitude about everything. Right. And, Dave, you shared a really nice uh, video for your fans as well. And Absolutely. Of course, we saw Blake go in right for a hug. You guys had such a cool relationship. Tell just us a little bit. Just <laughs> <laughs> Blake is a kisser, I tell you. <laughs> Whether you want it or not. I stick yeah. your fingers and yeah. stick his yeah. fingers. Yeah, he's definitely an ear poker, too. Yeah. But, uh, no, he, he just came up and, you know, looked, got in my ear and, again, licked it and yeah. said, uh, <laughs> you know, don't take candy from strangers and uh, here, I'll give you my phone number and we'll, we'll hang out after this is all over. And so it was, he's, he's just a stand-up guy. Like, what you see is what you get. Total class act. Right. And, yeah, I mean, I, I know that no matter what, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to, I'm going to be in country music. I live in Nashville. It's a... Uh, my, my path is clear. I'm a songwriter, and uh, I, I plan on it, developing that further and getting out on the road and playing shows. Nice. Yeah. And as far as your results performances, both of you guys chose uh, tender love ballads. Uh, why was that the final message you guys wanted to send as before the instant stay with Lone Stars and Maze, John Legends, uh, All of Me? I mean, those are really romantic songs, and you guys could have gone in any direction, but what was it about the, those songs? For me, uh, it was just another song that identified who I am as an artist. I mean, the songs I write, that's my lane. So if I had one more chance to go out and sing something that I'm really proud of, I want people to know what they're going to find after the show's over, then uh, I did my job. Yeah, what about you, Dan? Same for me. I love uh, ballads. I love love music. 
And you'd sung John Legend on the yeah, show before too I, with Ordinary People. And I, yeah. I didn't. I really wasn't even com comfortable with that song because I didn't know it, and I was like, oh lord. <laughs> but all is well with that one. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, that's the kind of music I love singing. I love singing uh, love songs. I'm a. I'm, I have a big heart, so, and I love to show it. Yeah, and you guys both had the opportunity to kind of step outside your comfort zone a little bit during the show. I mean, right. Dave, you showed off some beatboxing. You did Bruno. Yeah, it was that was so crazy. <laughs> like even all the extra stuff, I was like, oh god, they got me doing this. But, but yeah, you got to yeah. dip your toe into something cool. different. So going cool. forward, is that going to influence what you guys do musically from here on out? Do you think? Uh, for me, I mean, all my records are always going to be rooted in country. But all my live shows, like it's like when you go to like a country dance hall. There's the country band that plays, and then when the band takes a break, Break, they turn on the booty music. So uh, for me, you got to be prepared for that. For me, at my live show, I just do it all. You know what I'm saying? So it's fun. Nice. Uh, what about um, feedback you got from other coaches along the way? I mean, Kelly really stood up for you uh, and kind of cleared the air a bit last night, which was super nice. And what have you guys uh, gotten a chance to hear from from anyone else on the show? Um, you know, just great support, man. People just, you know, they was showing mad love last night towards me and Dave, you know, mm -hmm. just telling All us. All three hey, of you, really? Keep, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, just giving us great support. Like, hey, don't, don't take this serious, you know. Do what you do. Keep pressing forward. Keep doing music. Do what you love. Um, whatever happened tonight, don't, it don't really even matter, it, which it really don't, you know, because we all did our best, you yeah. know, at the end of the day. We yeah. love what we do. And, you know, and someone like Kelly and, like, Jennifer, too, I mean, and, yep, you, bro, Je Jennifer didn't so go amazing. all the way on her show, and she's an Oscar yeah. winner. So, yeah, I mean, this right. you know, this is just the beginning but for you the, guys. But even Kelly and, uh, Kelly and Jennifer, man, they were both just amazing last night. You know, they were really cool. Blake yeah. was, too, man. Uh, but for them to just really just step out and be like, hey, man, y'all y'all really did good. You man. did that. Yeah, you know, that was that was great of them. Nice. And that's, I appreciate it. You know. For sure. And what about going forward? So you guys are both headed home after this, back to Nashville. Are you getting? You're going to do music right away, or are you just going to sort of yeah, take some time to, to like? It. <laughs> straight to the music. That's the one thing. Like you know, being on the show, it's really hard. Your your time is so limited. You don't have a lot of time to be creative. So, mm -hmm. me as a songwriter, I've just been compiling ideas and just uh, woodshedding where I'm going to what I'm going to work on when I get back. So I'm really excited to get back in front of the in front of the pen and paper and, and meet my co-writers and hang out and just pump out a bunch of records. And I'm actually yeah, going to try to write, some, write songs Any for collaborations? All the, all the, all that sounds like you guys are thinking about mm -hmm. it. Absolutely. I mean, I, I've You're talked to... You're number one hit. All, <laughs> everybody on the show, I can't... I'm so excited to write for them. I've got to know their personalities and, and the direction they're going. Uh, I feel like I'm just filled with so much uh, inspiration to write for these guys. Oh, that's yeah, he's awesome. Tremendous writer. Now, DeAndre, you had the rare experience of also having been someone who was saved after the instant save. Right. So, I mean, those few minutes while that is happening, I, I, it's obviously nerve wracking, but does it go by in the blink of an eye or does it just feel like an eternity while you're waiting for those few minutes to go by? Uh, to be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> why are you standing there? Because I've been through it twice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when you're there, dude, what's going through your mind, you're like, well, hey. It is what it is at this Let's point. Let's see what right? happens. Yeah. <laughs> for, for me, I'm 40 years old, and uh, so they brought me my phone like up on stage, and, that, and, that, <laughs> and, then, Twitter. and they had to teach me how to use Twitter real quick. <laughs> I didn't know what a retweet was or nothing. Because he so, used to uh, make videos. Yeah. Hey, I yeah. love y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to <laughs> do that. Spread love like peanut butter. <laughs> right. Yeah, I love hey, that. That's, that's my, you got a trademark. That's that. my slogan. I, did, I do have a trademark on that. Hey, Smart. He's a man, man. He's super cool. I mean, for you guys, I mean, every artist on The Voice uh, has aspired to do this for years. And some of the younger contestants, the show's been on basically their entire life, which is a crazy thing to yeah. even think about. Um, so you must have an idea in your mind of what it's going to be like. But what's the most surprising thing for you once you're actually there? For me, it was just the, the I, I've watched the show since the beginning. And uh, to, you always see someone go home and you see the other person get sad. And I was like, what? It's a game. Mm -hmm. But I totally get it. Now, watching friends go home over the past couple of weeks, they're family at that point. And, and like, we've repeated that already. But it's just the thing, like, when you watch someone go home, and, and I'm sure that they're feeling our loss right now because I mean, we make really great connections. So yeah. um, that was the most 
the, the biggest surprise for me was just the kind of relationships because everybody's working towards the same goal. We're all in the same lane, trying to be successful in the same career. Exactly. So uh, yeah. we can either, it, you learn really early on that you're, you can collaborate and you can actually help each other. And that's what we all became, is just a little community. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're there to lift each other up. Right. Yeah. 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 And if you had gotten the chance to move forward, what would have been a dream song for you to sing that you didn't get the chance to sing or a, a side of your musicality that you uh, would have liked the viewers? to have seen any surprises still Johnny in store Hathaway. yeah really yeah. nice yeah uh singing this song for you yeah yeah that's a great hit i love it well we'll hear it sometime i'm sure yeah, most yeah. Definitely. <laughs> what yeah, about you dave i think i think my next song was going to be a uh, shameless like old billy joel but made famous by garth brooks and um uh, it's just an, another one that starts out soft and ends up hard just a good emotional country song with all the all the fixings so yeah that's where i was headed so what about you guys uh, going forward in, in terms of keeping in touch with your coaches? I mean, you and Blake are buddies, and, you know, Adam is always going to be there. Uh, do you guys hope to reach out to them for any further advice as you continue navigating your careers? I, tr I'm, I plan on writing a bunch of hit songs for Blake. I mean, <laughs> cause, I mean it's, a, it's a, pretty home, a pretty good goal to be the first person that was – writes a song for his coach yeah you know because i mean there's been a lot of people that have gone on tour with blake but i want to be the guy that ends up on his record sometime yeah so i think that's not too much nice ask. liner note credit <laughs> exactly. yeah that's perfect right what about you going forward I, now that you have this platform that the voice has given you um do you intend to go back and use it uh to to help further uh anything that you have in mind further my career -wise? yeah um yeah most definitely i always just yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> And you guys want to keep in touch with the other artists as well? Yes, I mean, most can, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love them, man. We love everybody that the, everybody that was from the beginning of the stage of all this from Blinds, man, it was 50 of us. All 50 of them, and even further back, man, because I started in January. I started in January at the Minute Maid Stadium in Houston. Yeah. So I went through all the process and made it to top 10. So everybody that I've met... It's almost a year at this yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. So everybody that I've met from that starting point, I uh, stay connected to them. That's so cool. And yeah. viewers don't really realize that, like what a long yeah. process it is. Because they just see everything, you know, Yeah, super they think condensed. it's all about competition and it's about, oh, man, they, they fighting and hating each other. Oh, we actually love each other. Yeah. Like, it's not even about the competition because at the end of the day, we're all family and this is just a show. We have to go home to our families, and we have to make records. And for us to make records, we have to add people to it. We have to have a team. You have to find your tribe. Yeah. So. And you got and My it. tribe is The Voice. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the Voice. No, it's, it's, it's been a great experience. And, you know, yeah. being, being 40, you know, it, I've, I really got to view this as a long experience that was really uh, well-crafted. The, the Voice family does a great job of making us feel good, making us look good on camera and dressing us. And mm -hmm. on, I, I never put makeup on in my life, so... Uh, they even blow-dried his beard. I, <laughs> they did. That was the first I bet. Pretty, boy! <laughs> but, uh, you know, hopefully it's, hopefully it's one of those things where, you know, somebody sitting on the couch, you know, maybe watches this interview and says, you know, that guy was 40 and I'm I'm 40, I could try mm -hmm. this out, you know. It's so never it's, too it's late. It's never too late to exactly. get out there and do it. So, I mean, it's it's... I've been a launch pad for all of our careers. I'm very excited to see where everybody goes and uh, and, and want to work with them all later. So it's, it's been such a blessing. Yeah, that's awesome. And what about any advice that you would give to potential artists who want to be on the show in the future? Definitely uh, stay true to yourself as an artist. Most Before you come on a show like this, know what where you want to be or who you want to be if you can. And uh, stand up for yourself and, and know the kind of songs you want to sing. Because that's, that's one of the things that's really important is making sure that you identify you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had told us on Monday night after your performances that one of the, some of the best advice that Adam had given you was to be confident. Yeah. Don't sell yourself short. Mm -hmm. Know that you deserve to be there. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. One, one thing that I do admire um, about Adam is he's a a real person. I give him that. He is a real. He speaks his mind. He tells yeah. you um, if he don't like a song that you do, uh, he will tell you, "Hey, let's change that." Or um, even he will rearrange a whole song. He's so musical. Yeah, yeah. his mind is very. He's a he's a tremendous musician. 
I won't knock that at all. He's amazing. He's a cool guy, you know. But um, for me, uh, the question that you just asked, <laughs> say that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were just touching upon uh, the advice that you've been given um, okay. and the advice that you want to give okay, yeah, future artists. Okay, yeah, advice I want to give to them. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's, that's what I was trying to get back to. <laughs> My mind just went blank. Um, but advice I would give to people is most definitely stay true to yourself. Mm -hmm. um, always stay the course. Don't ever give up. Don't 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 dim yourself down because of what people think or what people say about you. Always believe in yourself. If you lose anything, that's fine. If you if people you always get a no, but at the end of the day, there will be a yes. You know. You just have to keep working and keep going through the process. There's always emotion through everything. So never give up, you know. Always do that. Do yeah. your best. And in this world we live in right now, it's not the world that I grew up in where all these kids have access to the YouTube and, and all these other and uh, ways. Mm -hmm. And they can, they can put up whatever they want whenever yes. they want. Yes. And uh, uh, one, one, th <laughs> one, one thing that I've learned is that you just can't, let haters affect you exactly. because no matter what you do there's going to be people who support it and people who don't yep. and the most important thing is to just stay true to yourself and and and, and love yourself yeah. first because um no one else is going to like you love <laughs> exactly <laughs> well no one else is no one else is going to be able to identify you like you can so right. uh for anybody watching this you know who posts something just you know go in there with a strong heart and, yeah. and stay tough yeah, yeah. Any final message that you'd want to send to your fans about your experience on the show and going forward? I got new music coming out. There you go. <laughs> Spread love like peanut butter on everybody because <laughs> this world needs it now more than ever. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank y'all <laughs> for everything, man. I appreciate y'all like for just getting me this far, you know. Um, I didn't have to make it this far. They could have sent me home a long time ago. I we know tried. I know, I know, bro, it's crazy. I'm not the best singer in the world, and I know it, you know. But I know that I have a gift, and I have fans that love me, and I'm their fan. I love them, you know. They're amazing. Uh, they always show love, and keep showing it. I'm That's about right. to drop. I'm gonna drop some stuff soon. <laughs> nice EPs. I'm actually doing uh, a lot of touring once I get back home. He's an amazing drummer too. Yeah. You don't know uh, fun this. fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot. I will most definitely and I'll keep y'all posted because I'm gonna be on social media like crazy. So nice. I'm gonna learn how to be on social media. <laughs> and shout out <laughs> to the PRs, you know, all the people, the voice team, all the voice squad. Yeah, it's man. been a great Killing. experience. I love y'all. Y'all amazing. Awesome. And well, the band. Oh my god. Yeah, you Paul. guys are not the first oh people to give god. props to the band. Oh my god. Eric, Paul. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, 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 what's his name? Basically, yeah, uh, 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 I forgot his name. We got Nate. I mean, we got everybody. What's, but, Eric. but I tell you what, Kevin Post, the steel guitar player for Blake Shelton, they brought, oh, man. They brought him and Janae in this week. He killed. And Kevin's been a friend of mine for years, and I totally blame him for my loss. Sasha. <laughs> it was Sasha. Sasha, the bass player. Smashing, man. Everybody's it was amazing. So much fun. Everybody's just great, and you can't knock them. They're just amazing. Like, this is really the best band I've ever played with in my life, and they're amazing. Awesome. Everybody on the voice squad is cool, man. I love them. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I yeah. think we pretty much covered it all on that note. Yeah. Thank you yeah. guys so much, and, you know, the possibilities are endless for you, and we can't wait to see what's next. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you.